With that down, let's move on to main topic number one. And our first main topic today gets submitted into us by Greg Badalin, who writes, I know that we're still fairly far off from getting any X-Men stuff in the MCU, but did you see that outlets are saying that Patrick Stewart has met with Kevin Feige to talk about returning as Charles Xavier? Do you think these reports are true? And if so, when do you think we could see Stewart back? All right. Thanks a lot for sending in that question, man. And first of all, the answer to the question of could this be true? Oh, it is 100% true. Patrick Stewart and Kevin Feige did meet to discuss the ideas. Well, they probably discussed several things, but one of the things was the possibilities of him coming into the MCU as Professor Charles Xavier. This is from Patrick Stewart himself. I believe it was, he was doing an interview with Digital Spy, and he said the following. I met with Kevin Feige a couple of months ago, and we had a long, long conversations. And there have been moves and suggestions, which include Charles Xavier. Hugh Jackman and I were moved by the story of Logan. We were moved by one another. We were moved by the movie. But we also both made the decision that we were saying goodbye to our characters as well. In that sense, it was not just the death of those two men in the franchise, but it was also goodbye to our parts in them as well. So that comes from Patrick Stewart. So that tells us a couple of things, Rob. First of all, and, and maybe the main thing that it tells us is Patrick Stewart himself is absolutely confirming that, yeah, he and Kevin Feige did get together and he and Kevin Feige did as at least a part of those discussions. He says there were long, long conversations, but at least a part of that conversation had to do with the possibility of maybe him reprising his role as Professor Charles Xavier now in the MCU. And Rob, just that possibility opens up a Pandora's box of what our understanding has been regarding what's going to happen with the X-Men and that entire world once they come into the MCU. Because, and for damn good reason, and from everything that's been said up until now, the assumption has been that once they bring X-Men and that whole universe into the MCU, it's going to be a rebooted franchise. It's not going to be a continuation of the things that we've seen and all that kind of stuff. The very fact that Kevin Feige was sitting down to talk to Patrick Stewart about this blows away a lot of assumptions. Now, that is still very well, Rob, the way they could proceed. It's very well could still, I would even say likely, that when the X-Men do come into the MCU, it's going to be a rebooted thing and all that kind of stuff. But the very fact that Kevin Feige sat down to talk to Patrick Stewart about that it raises possibilities that I, quite frankly, didn't even think were a possibility. That I didn't think was a possibility at the time. Patrick Stewart then goes on to say, Rob, that, you know, you know, me and me and Hugh Jackman, you know, he actually tells this great story about the first time him and Hugh Jackman watched Logan together. It was, I believe, it was at the Berlin Film Festival. And he says the last nine minutes of the film, him and Hugh Jackman held hands. He said, we were both weeping and crying and we held each other's hands as we were going it because we knew this was the end of this long, long journey that we've been on together. It's actually a beautiful damn story. I would pay a lot of money just to hang out in a bar for a night with Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart. Especially but, if you could hold their hands. Especially if we could hold hands while we're doing it. So, but he seems pretty insistent that no, but how insistent can you be if the meeting still took place, because I know if somebody calls me and says, John, I'd like to meet with you about a proposal that I'll give you five dollars uh, for you to cut off your left thumb. Um, that's not happening. And no. So th I'm sorry. There's no point in us meeting together. I am 100 percent not going to cut off my thumb for five dollars. So, uh, no, there's uh, thank you for the invitation, but we're not coming to meet. This meeting happened with what Patrick Stewart called long, long conversations. So. As much as he's saying, no, I'm done with the character, I'm done with the character, you have to at least believe there might still be, in the words of Dumb and Dumber, so you're saying there's a chance. Like, you, you, there's got to be at least some <laughs> monochrom of a possibility here. Rob, let me ask you this, because this, this is really fascinating to me. What does the fact that Kevin Feige and Patrick Stewart even met to discuss this do to your perception of what the upcoming X-Men would be in the MCU. And despite his clear reluctance, do you actually think there's any possibility we could see Patrick Stewart pop up in the MCU given this story? 
No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I mean, look, I think I think Kevin Feige. Look, Kevin Feige is a huge Star Trek fan. I am sure Kevin Feige would love to sit down with Patrick Stewart just to talk Star Trek, much less X Men and all of those things. I, I really think that look, there are always possibilities. We we had uh, a movie where we saw two different Xaviers from two different timelines, you know, um, and and I think that I think the MCU is going to have to reestablish the X Men from scratch to make it work within the context of the MCU. And look, that's not to say that maybe they'll figure out some way to do it, but I just can't see it happening because Patrick Stewart's going to be eighty. You know, and if they want to, if they want to establish the X Men in the MCU, they could make X Men movies for another two or three decades if they wanted to, if they played their cards right. And I just don't see Xavier unless they want to set him up and kill him, if that's part of what they're going to do. I, I don't know, but he already had a great send off. I mean, like we said, they were they were holding hands in a movie theater, knowing it was the end. And I think if they brought Xavier back, does that mean they're going to bring everybody back? And if they did that, uh, I don't, I don't know, John. It doesn't work for me. I mean, we got to keep in mind too. Xavier already died once in uh, the third X Men film. He and then inexplicably was just back after that because, of course, the mantra of Fox X Men was continuity, schmontinuity, whatever. Look, I. It seems to me for a couple of the reasons that you brought up so so articulately. Number one, Patrick Stewart is at the age now where he's rounding out his career. He's got right. to be thinking about retiring and just enjoying life pretty soon. He's got to be thinking about that. Um, but so I don't know that you start a new franchise with an 80 plus year old Patrick Stewart. I just don't see why Patrick Stewart would even want to bother doing that. It's like, dude, I've done this for long enough. Thank you very right. much. But I, I also think that and I've said this for a long time, Rob, they've got to restart the X-Men like you, you can't. There's just too much baggage and listen, I love the Fox X-Men movies for the most part. There are clearly a couple of clunkers, no doubt. But the thing is, it was a continuity, schmontinuity kind of mess. You had right. to go into the X-Men and just appreciate each film on its own individual basis and all that kind of stuff. And if you're getting this new start by bringing it into the MCU, I think you got to start fresh. It's just that Kevin Feige doesn't strike me as the type of guy who does something for nothing or for no reason. So it's just kind of still intriguing me. But I, I tend to lean with you, Rob. I don't think this is going to happen. Patrick Stewart does seem to be pretty resolute in that. Um, and I think the right thing to do is to reboot it. But listen, guys, it is still a curious question, the fact that they even met to talk about it. So I decided to make that the topic of today's question of the day. So when I, I went on Twitter just a few minutes before we started the show, and I asked you guys this question. I asked. With Feige meeting with Patrick Stewart about Professor X appearing in the MCU, do you think, despite Stewart's reluctance, that we could see him in a Marvel film? And a little over 1,200 of you guys have already voted. And I'm going to be honest, I'm surprised. 37.5% of you guys actually do think, hey, Feige doesn't do something for nothing. That, yeah, 37.5, and that's a higher number than I thought there would be, but 37.5% of you guys are saying, yes, we do think we're going to see him at some point. 62.5% uh, of you tend to agree with Rob and I on this, saying, no, probably won't be at this point, but it is a fascinating story nonetheless, just the fact that these guys met. I'm going to leave this poll up for the next 24 hours, guys, so you guys can go over there and vote on that. And overall, guys, what do you think about this? How does it shift your perception of the upcoming X-Men, knowing that Patrick uh, Stewart and Kevin Feige even had a conversation about that at some point? I want to know what you guys think. Jump down to the comment section below and leave your thoughts there. All right.